Good to be back, and the wind is back when I got back, too. We're going to see those windy conditions returning again today. Temperature-wise, it's going to be another nice one, though. Upper 50s as we head to the 9 o'clock hour, so a very mild start this morning for the metro and really across the state by lunchtime. Temps in the upper 60s, and then highs today, they're not quite as warm as yesterday. Not too bad, topping out at 75 degrees with partly cloudy skies here in the metro. Of course, we will still see the chance for a few showers and perhaps an isolated storm up in the north and northeast. Temps right now across the state, again, very mild. 43 in Alamosa, 54 in Santa Fe, 60 in Albuquerque, and we're in the low to mid 70s down in the southeast. 70 in Roswell, 74 right now in Carlsbad. Those winds kicking up again. Some wind advisors in effect for the east central plains and out east, and also up in the northeast, where some of those isolated storms could bring in some damaging winds, 60 to perhaps 65 mile per hour gusts in some of the storms, and of course high fire danger, red flag warnings across much of the state. I'll have more details, and of course the 70 forecast is coming up. Middle East unrest tops the Tuesday morning news blitz. Syrian security forces fired tear gas and live ammunition on anti-government protesters this morning. At least 200 people have been killed this month. Later today, President Obama will hold a meeting on immigration reform and meet with business, political, and religious leaders to discuss a modern take on the nation's immigration system. Arizona Governor Jan Brewer vetoed a bill that would have allowed guns on public universities and community colleges. She said her main reason for rejecting this bill was that it was poorly written. Today marks the 16th anniversary of the Oklahoma City bombing. The attack killed 168 people and showed that America was not immune to domestic terrorism. Investigators now think that a 14-year-old boy gunned down two men in Roswell last weekend. The boy who fired the fatal shots, according to police, was also wounded and remains in the hospital. He'll be arrested once he recovers. Police are still on the hunt for a Hobbs man that they say pointed a gun at his two sons. 44-year-old Randolph Brecken's two sons told school officials that their dad had threatened them with a gun. The mother has already been arrested and charged with child abuse. That about does it for now for your headlines this Tuesday morning.